Perched nearly 5,000 feet above sea level, Union Valley Reservoir is solitude, where lakeside neighbors are peaceful ripples and conversations among wildlife. Quiet, relaxing, isolated, perfect conditions to breed bald eagles. This is a prime habitat location. You have open water with plenty of fish here. Wildlife biologist Jen House is monitoring El Dorado National Forest's newest additions. Sure, right now they're still considered nestlings because they're within the nest. Viewing our national symbol from a respectful distance. Uh, eagles can be very sensitive to noise disturbance and sometimes it depends on the individual. The nestlings parents chose their home right in the middle of Sunset Campground, prompting some closures. So we're trying to provide the opportunities for the eagles to nest, but also not inhibit the ability for the public to come and recreate in this area. Campground manager Jeff Johnson welcomes the rare vacancy. I never seen an eagle and I never actually sat and I got to watch one like, you know, over time. Gaining a front row seat to a resilient creature. We just had snow the other day and uh, this made me think about the winter we just had and they have eggs up there. They made it and they have you know, two chicks and it's just amazing. Almost two months old, the siblings weigh just a few pounds, but with a wingspan already six feet long, strengthening for flight. Yeah, they're getting a little restless in that nest and there's two of them in there and they're pretty big, so they're stretching their wings and figuring out how to maneuver around the nest. While their parents will likely return, the future for their young is wide open. Uh, eagles have been hatched in California, have been seen as far as Alaska. A captivating species once on the brink of extinction is now thriving. 20 years ago, bald eagles were found in just eight counties statewide. Now, breeding in 42 counties across California. A brief glimpse of young wings embarking towards independence carrying on a remarkable comeback. In El Dorado County, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.